So, it's the uh, 10th of May? 9th. 9th of May. And yeah, this is Finland. I was supposed to go to the to my boat today. I think I'm gonna wait until the snowing ends. So the snowing stopped and the sun came up for a while. So I'm gonna go to my boat, but I'm gonna show you some stuff that I printed. I got some holes on the um uh, on the co cockpit area after after I removed some of the um switches that I had for the uh, the old style motor controller so please come off with a pretty oh yeah pretty nice so I'm gonna take this with me and let's get to the boat Yeah, I'm calibrating now the big batteries. These two, these are 220 amp hours. Yeah, I've noticed even though these are a year newer than the four one that's that are under the uh, benches, I don't think they are as good as as like a quality as uh, yeah these four ones. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just the brand and the price. They were pretty cheap. But yeah, now that I got all those over there calibrated, I individually charged them as uh, twin, as 12 volts. Now I'm doing the same thing with these, and with those, I didn't get like a there was a, like a 0 0.2 volt difference or something like that. Really small. But with these, yesterday, I noticed that this one was almost a whole volt lower than this one. This was like 12.6 uh, or something, and this was full, it was 13.6 or something like that. So, and when I tried to charge this yesterday, it got a weird error on the uh, charger. So, I'm not sure what's happening with this battery, but this... I got full just a moment ago, it was really quick, but yeah, this one is a mystery and I hope it's okay, but even though uh, if it's not fully uh, functional or the, uh, the capacity is, has been has lowered, it doesn't really matter because normally I use those for the, uh, the uh, overall electricity here when this is charging over here I'm again trying to figure out what to do with the boom and the main sail I got this back lazy back now on but the lazy jacks I'm not sure which configuration is the best one because I the first uh, first, first, first button. This one over here got got easily stuck between these, and now when it's going pretty well, these are pretty close now, just because this doesn't go up. Well, if you have the headwind, then it's easy. But I want to do this so that I don't have to always always turn the the bow to the wind to pick the main up. I would like to have an option to pick it up even though the wind is not the perfect direction. But yeah, I think I'm gonna also put this a little bit closer to here because the second but then this one gets on here. So it has to be, yeah. This has been a pain in the uh, I would say something, but yeah. So, but today I'm gonna try to 
see if I can do something about the reefing lines. So I googled the uh, reefing line configurations, what they normally are, and uh, last time I did the reefing line so that I can only tie that end and this end I usually put on this this hook over here. But now I'm try to find a way to put this and also put a block somewhere in here so it pulls it down and then run the lines to there or there. But now, because I have two of these lying around, I'm gonna try to cut these, cut this, these ends off, so that I can put a bolt through it and then stick it next to the mast like this. So first, I'm gonna try to cut that. I think it's stainless steel, so it's pretty hard. I'm gonna use this, some something like that. Yeah, normally I would go to a, to a boat store and pick one that is meant to be mounted, you know, like sideways. But because my budget is like zero at this time and my bank account also, I'm gonna use this. And yeah, I don't have any anything else to do with this, so. Let's try. So, the pin was surprisingly hard to get off. I had to grind it and grind it and pound it to get it out. And I finally got it out. But, the real problem was to screw this on the side of the boom. I got the hole done, but I didn't have a long enough screw. I only got these black ones and I'm pretty sure they are pretty cheap so they are not stainless or anything like that but they are long enough but when I made the hole yeah I broke two of these this is what happened these are two that are just snapped when I was trying to screw them in then I figure out, well, I got these, these are stainless, but, yeah, the aluminum uh, pole, it was so thick that I couldn't get it to make, this, make the threads over there, so I end up screwing two of these, two of those, but yeah. I'm gonna end this struggle for today. I'm gonna come back another day. So another day and another try to complete the stuff that I'm doing with the boom. So the lazy jacks and the lazy back and the reefing lines. But the weather is not that good. I'm not sure if you can see, but. It just started to rain, that icy stuff. Another funny thing, uh, this kind of a iconic uh, weatherman here in Finland, he made the, uh, the weather report a few days ago and <laughs> he lost it, uh, he, he started laughing in, in the middle of uh, the report and uh, it became a kind of a, kind of a big thing in the uh, the internet after that and yeah it says something because normally the weather men and women here in Finland they are pretty pretty no they are not that funny and they are they are pretty uh, professional I would say like kind of a not that kind of a show show people once one of them cracks up laughing it means something is something is weird in the weather. So I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description below. 
Uh, it has the English uh, subtitles, so you can you can follow along. But yeah, let's try to do something here with the boat. I finally got the reefing lines and the uh, well, the lazy bag. I'm not sure if it's working good. I think I had to put on like a button, something to straighten the, the outer edge. But I got these reefing lines done pretty good, I think. So these were the the blocks blocks that I put in here. It goes there. This is the other uh, second reef. It goes up there. They come to the other side. Here, here. They go down, the other one goes there. And the other one goes from there. I'm gonna wrap this now for today. The batteries. The voltage is dropping from the battery, so check it tomorrow, see what what the voltage is then and maybe try to charge it again. I hope that it recovers and regains the uh, at least some of the uh, the capacity. Because they're really big batteries. It's a shame to keep it there as a weight if they don't hold any amps. Okay, so thanks again for watching and see you soon on the next one. Bye bye.